Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Time for us to get into Crumbling Faramazula. Now, we entered this in the previous episode. Anybody coming to this Crumbling Faramazula walkthrough and wondering how, how we get here. That is in the previous episode where we defeated the Fire Giant. We activated the Grace. And then we have taken our first steps into this area so that we can actually start the main kind of zone proper. So, with that being said, let's just make sure I'm facing the right way, which I wasn't. I'm glad I did. I'm going to head on through here. We have a couple of the beast men with the shields here. These guys can actually drop this shield if you're interested. If you are indeed a weapon collector. I thought there was two. Here we go. I knew there was two. No. We'll have friendly beasts today, please. Um, from here you have two directions we can go in. You can either get down here and begin clearing kind of the path forward. There is in fact another grace right here at the other end of the hall. Or we can start clearing the lower area. And I think we'll do the lower area first just because um, it's kind of convenient. We can start out by jumping onto the roof. I can't remember if there's loot up here so we're just going to double check and head on over the other side. Ah yes we do have this up here. See this is why we need to check. Pretty good for damage so we should be... Should be fine. We do need to be somewhat careful up here. Um, some of the... Um, I can't see which one it is for me. I think it's the middle one. The um, the big beasts that we get up here are able to cast like a um, lightning spell. And it'll hit you wherever you are. So they can cast through like walls, floors. Uh, basically wherever they want they'll be able to... Uh, to land a spell on you, so you just need to be careful about aggro in that one. Which is why we're gonna just try to pick at this kind of group of enemies here. We don't want to fall down, that would be real bad right now. Because there are a lot of enemies below. Just using the elevation to... Uh... Oh, that, <laughs> that did target it, but it didn't have the range. That was kind of interesting. Just kind of show because I don't think it has a max range. Oh, it did stay over there. That's real weird. Usually it just like kind of appears underneath you. Like that, look, see? So you just got to be on your toes a little bit. Otherwise, uh, they can cause you some problems. Uh, that's everything up here. Oh, there's another enemy over there. How come that didn't aggro? I'm not complaining. But uh, just kind of strange. There's another one there, so don't aggro it. That one can, in fact, cast two. How did you end up behind me? That's real strange. Okay, so with all of that done, we can now progress to the lower area. I'm just going to go ahead and walk off here. Shouldn't hurt too much. The rune. And we'll have a little lift that goes downward. It's down here. The main item we want is um, a glove wart picker's bell bearing. There are a couple of other kind of bits we can get whilst we're down here, but realistically speaking, everything else is optional. So um, if we miss any other little bits, like there's a, I think there's like an upgrade stone up there at the end of that bridge. Um, but realistically speaking, if you know you're feeling the heat because you're getting damaged down here, you don't need to go for that. There are a lot of worm faces. Where is it? There you are. I knew there was one close by. It's like, where are you? Get off. I feel like I'm getting a lot of button delay today. I don't know why. Trying to make sure that things aren't gonna mob me too badly as we're moving around. Where are you? I see you, sir. Yes, think you can ambush me, do you? Not today. Maybe if I die and end up rushing back down, that's the kind of thing that that will catch me out on. More here, we'll deal with you. 
Luckily, these, these don't have much in the way of a dodge. And we have pretty good damage. Starting to feel the need for a larger mana pool. Just for the refill value. Like, sometimes when you come into a fight, you think, Oh, yeah, I'll just take a flask so that we can refill. I feel like if there was just more left right now, for example, we'd be having a better time. So the bell bearing, we don't actually have to kill anything. It's right in that little pavilion thing over there. And these enemies really don't drop anything good. I'm going to show you guys the easy way to get it, and then we'll actually fight them all, just so you can see. But um, you don't need to fight any of this if you don't really want to. So we're just going to run on over this way. Next couple of episodes as well, we're going to see whether or not I've messed up Bernal's quest so much we don't get him as, a, as an ally. Because uh, I guess maybe we progressed his quest too much. So, you can see, nothing's aggroed. We could literally just fast travel straight out of here right now. But just because it entertains me. We can set Teach on these guys. I don't need to get hit by that. Get out of the way. That'd be bad. I feel like they've reduced Teach's damage or something, because really does not seem to be having the effect that I'm used to it having. So, as you can see, like, really nothing to write home about here that makes you think, hey, I'm going to risk getting a death proc while I'm carrying hundreds of thousands of runes. I mean, I know I did it just to show you, but still. There's another one down here as well, which is all something else I find real weird, because I don't think he's even guarding any loot. It's just around this corner. Maybe it's just there to be a trap if you decide you're going to be inquisitive. Let me just see if I can show it without triggering it. Is it this one? No, nope, must be the next corner. See, got another one right there. No loot. Oh, there is loot. Let's go get it. Let's see what it is. Oh, man. I was so close to a two-shot. I guess we got it in the head by accident. I take it back. There is loot here. What is it? Gravel stone. Okay, might as well be no loot. I don't care about that. Close enough. Now, of course, if you want a fast way back, you could just fast travel back up. But, um... We're going to fight our way out and then go to the next grace, just because. Um, it seems better to be to go that way. Why can't I get up there? There we go. Uh, I think we need to go... Oh, wait. Yeah, we need to go up this. Up this, up this. I'm getting slightly confused. I know we need to jump across. Uh, well, I want to jump across, should I say, so that we can get to the ladder. Come here. It's cool because this would usually be like a one-way street in uh, something like Dark Souls 3. Yeah, I knew there's an enemy down there. It's a dog, but I was like, there's something that comes from under there. It's going to annoy me. So we can head on down, grab the ladder, climb to the top of this. Only got two flasks left. That's been a real limiter. <laughs> Man, it's tough being a mage. Pure mage, anyway. If I was running around with, like, um, the Uchikatana and had a, uh, had the Moonveil as my offhand, so we had, like, double magic katanas. Completely different game. Let me assure you. I knew it was not Gridstone. Haha, <laughs> I like it when I'm right. Doesn't happen often. Just allows me to show you guys what's where. That way, 
can make your own decision as to what you think is worth fighting and what isn't. And then uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to pa um, basically quickly pass through the hallway so that we can get to the grace and then we'll uh, come back through and deal with it from behind. Just because we can. We could probably almost clear it. It's going to take, what, three, maybe two to three shots for each enemy in here. I've already got maybe ten left. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. That's why. That's why this is going to be a good idea. So we're going to come up to this left side. Come back. Excuse me, where did you come from? Chase for those extra runes there. Want this first. Where did you come from? Was it this one? No. Must have been the one that patrols around. Let me just check the other side. Must have been that one. Let me just give you guys a bit of reference then. So this is where we first came into the hall. We jumped out onto the roof over that way. And then now we run back in this way. Obviously you don't have to take the way that we, we came. Now this is showing it's... Uh, Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to fire one of those. I just had the wrong spell on. Now you're seeing the annoyance these can cause. Um, combined with, you know, auto dodge. It's a real issue in my opinion. We've pretty much cleared this now though. I'd have to, I'd have to melee everything to win this though. At this point. Can I? No. <laughs> That's not going to work. That's me dead now. Oh man, get off. I better get backstabs to win. Although. Aw. Oh, come here. Yeah, we'll deal with you. Take that. That's most of this, doesn't they? <laughs> Everything's just aggroed on me. It's like, leave me alone. I was going to do this from the rear end, but... I was really decided it doesn't want me to do that. Really? Oh, man. Just does not want to give me the opportunity for a backstab. Which is really the only weapon I have left. We're out of FP. Got the Ancient Dragon prayer book, which is the main reason to come down here. We haven't done the upper bit. That's going to annoy me. We've cleared most of it now. Let's give it a go. So there's literally a grace around it there. You should be able to see it um, if you walk just straight out the thing. Being as we're so close to doing this, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna take the risk. <laughs> so this one did aggro. Okay. And we've done the upper area. Hmm. I think we've got everything. Just thought we'd check. So there's one enemy left and it's you. You know, I'm going to tag the grace and then we're going to kill it. Oops. We're going to do this, look. So we're not going to rest. We're just going to do this. And then again, just, just because it looks like we should be able to do it. Oh, you aggroed. Swine. Yes. <laughs> there was no need, but it was fun. Didn't even have the courtesy to uh, refill our flasks. Um, so then, I think this is another bell bearing. Yes. We should see Alex over there. Yes. Next, Grace is pretty much down. Can't actually. Can we see it from here? 
Can't actually see it. So you see that ledge? There's like a little bit jutting out. That's the ledge we need to get to for the next race. I reckon we can do that in five to ten minutes. So we're going to continue on this episode. And I'm starting to feel like I might need to <laughs> reduce my healing by one. Oh, I hate this bit as well. There's a piece of loot up there we should get, really. Hate is a strong word, and it gets me uh, tagged very poorly on YouTube, but I do very much dislike some of the enemies that we have here. These ones aren't too bad, right? I can deal with these. Um, ouch. And even the archers, like, are not the end of the world. I'm going to die here now. I can't see the ones that really do my head in right now, actually, so that's kind of nice on this this particular bit. Let's get back around here. Hello. You came to visit me, did you? Stop that. Aw, you moved. Oh, really? So glad I'm not using the sword ritual right now. Deal with you. So realistically speaking, I would not generally advise clearing all of this for a Golden Rune 9. I just kind of wanted you to show you guys that it's there. And then we're just going to run across to this. So that we've got it. And now we're getting shot up by the next one. Yes, okay. Let's be quick here. Because we're not going to be able to get the second hit on it to finish it off. So it's the skeletons that we now are going to be surrounded by down here. So let's just ooh, come around the corner slightly because I don't really want to be getting shot at too much. We're going to quickly grab this piece of loot and then we're going to jump off to the right. So we can get down for the grace. Now, to finish this bit off, because there's a little bit more for us to do in that direction. Um, yeah, we're going to jump off. We're going to do the jump off here. How many runes do we have? Not quite enough for a level. So we're going to jump straight off this way. Don't run off. Just jump off. There is another level down here. We'll do, deal with that later on. For now, though. So these are the ones I don't like very much. You can see why. They do not stagger at all. They have an obscene amount of health. Um, so, yes, a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. I don't understand why they needed to be so tough. Like the rest of them are fine. Just going to make sure we've got some space to fight in, otherwise it's going to get real messy. chasing me. He didn't, oh yeah, there we go. Right. Yeah. And these obviously respawn with full health and stuff, so they just uh, just really do my head in. I just don't, I don't think enemies that get back up like that already need to uh, have such a big health pool. Being as range is our advantage. Make sure you take advantage of that. Uh, I'm just going to grab it this way to show that. Um, so if you look up, the hole we saw earlier is right there. So if you was maybe speedrunning this area, this might be a route that you take that can pass straight through this way. Jump on down there. There is, in fact, another grace. Uh, I don't know where I'd put a pin on the map. It's kind of like there-ish. So you, like, you, go, you go down there, you take a right turn, and then follow it all the way. I guess that's easterly direction. And that takes you to a, to the next grace, and it's right before the boss, so... If you're trying to just skip through the area, 
That's probably quite useful. For us though, we're coming this way. Ah, kindly dropped me some loot. Not the real loot though, it can drop its uh, curved swords and they're pretty good. Although this character can't use them. So, up the ladder. This is going to take us to where the archer was that was shooting us when we were doing the drop downs. Did I tag that grace? I've got a really bad feeling I didn't tag the grace. If I die, that's going to be really annoying. So, archer boy. Um, try not to knock this guy off. There's a really weird thing with this one where, like, if it falls off and goes down there, it doesn't um, die and it stops you fast traveling, which is a bit annoying. Stuff stopping me fast traveling now, anyways. Which is also annoying. But, we're gonna knock these down. Like a so. to allow me to do this. Can I get this map back up? And I did rest. Good. Very nice. Make sure you do that. <laughs> Continuing on without doing so is bad. Um, and then you basically have, where are we, a series of drop-offs you can take to get back down to the lower level that we were on. But if I'm honest, I don't really like that idea. don't really see how we gain much out of it. There is a piece of loot there we could get. Uh, why, have you, why did you just disappear? That was really weird. We'll go pick it up just so I can show you guys what it is. I can't remember what exactly what it is, but... We should probably do that. No, thank you. Gravel stone, more useless stuff. This is why I forget half of the stuff. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, you're bad, don't need you. We're fine though, we can just come over here. Sit down at the grease. And that is probably the perfect place for us to end the episode. In the next one, we're going to take on a boss. It's going to be the Godskin... What's it called? Twin Godskins. Two Godskins, anyway. It's, an, it's a different type of basically facing Godskins where they've got like a joint health bar. So, see you guys soon for that.